Hello everyone. This is Rahul Jakaria from Sherka. Welcome back to exciting 3R actionable stock updates. 3R basically means right sector, right quality and right valuation. These are our investment ideas. Today we have an update on Indusind Bank. Our analyst maintains buy rating on Indusind Bank with a price target of Rs 1850. The near term business outlook remains comfortable except for the elevated cost ratios. The ability to manage NIMS in the current environment along with being a key beneficiary in the interest rate reversal cycle would keep the sentiment positive. Key focus is on strengthening the liability franchise and delivering sustained healthy growth. Return ratios have reasonable support from lower credit cost at this stage of the cycle. Valuations are attractive. The stock has underperformed the broader indices in last one year and it currently trades at 1.6 times its FY25 and 1.3 times its FY26 core book value estimates. Next, we have an update on JK Lakshmi Cement. Our analyst retains buy on JK Lakshmi with a revised price target of Rs 1000, factoring in downwardly revised standalone estimates and considering its healthy growth outlook over 2 to 3 years. Quarter 4 standalone operational profitability bid estimates led by higher than estimated blended realization, while volume surprised negatively, led by lower outsourced volume offtake. JKL is undertaking almost Rs 5500 crore capex plan over the next 3 years with clinker and grinding capacity addition plant at Durg and grinding capacity addition in Surat and Northeast. It expects consolidated volume growth of 10% year on year, aided by recently commissioned 2.5 MTPS cement capacity at UCW and phase 1 of 0.7 MTP at Surat, expected by October 2024. Last week covers Century Ply Boards. Our analyst upgrades rating to buy on Century Ply Boards with an unchanged price target of Rs 765. Considering the recent correction in the stock and strong earnings growth outlook over the next 2-3 to three years. For quarter 4, Century reported marginally lower than expected standalone revenues. Operating profit margin surprised negatively due to impairments. Hence, net earnings lagged. For FY 2025, the management targets double-digit revenue growth, aided by strong revenue growth in MDF and laminates, and steady performance in plywood. Operating profit margin to remain under pressure for FY25. We expect demand revival during FY25 as Realty Project's launch post-COVID-19 starts getting delivered. Operating profit margin revival will follow soon. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.